Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this tutorial I'm going to show you a really easy and simple but effective way to do some photographic color toning using gradient maps in Photoshop. So I've got my photo open that I want to add some color toning onto and the great thing about this technique is it only requires one adjustment layer. So if I go to layer, new adjustment layer, gradient map, we can select OK and it will create our gradient map adjustment layer. And the even easier part about this is if you select the cog wheel and go down to your preset packs here you can select photographic toning to unlock these couple dozen different effects and they're all already pre-made and I'll show you how easy they are to apply and adjust onto your photo. There's platinums, there's sepia tones, different effects and some of them like this sepia tone might look good just like this However, with some of them, like this blue one or this greenish blue one, what you can do to make them look nice on the photo is go to your adjustment layer and then either lower the opacity, which kind of lowers the strength, or you can set the blending mode to a few different options. So some good ones to try out are overlay for a more dramatic and contrasted but colored effect. Soft light is similar to overlay but a little less powerful. That can also look really nice. Or screen gives you a bit more faded and light and kind of bright effect like a vintage or fashion photography effect. So with the blending modes on or the opacities adjusted, you can go through these different tones and pick one that looks nice on your photo, fits the mood and vibe that you want then adjust the opacity and blending mode to your liking and you can get some pretty nice looking results that are impossible to mess up and very easy to use and don't require lots of complicated curves layer and whatnot. So those have their places however this is a great place to start when you're doing some simple photographic color toning on your photos and definitely play around with this and try it out on some photos of your own. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, definitely leave a like on it below and check out some of my other color effects and Photoshop tutorials in the playlists on my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for all types of new future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.